Joining us right now is Amy Grzymkowski. She is the Human Resource and Marketing Manager for WODA. Amy, good morning. Sorry, we're just doing things so quickly today. Thank you for joining us at the last minute. First of all, I got your website here, but tell us what WODA is. It looks like it's Western Oakland Transportation Authority. Is that right? That's correct. We are Western Oakland Transportation Authority. We provide transportation to seniors and adults with disabilities in Highland, White Lake, Waterford, the city of Wald Lake, and now in Kegel Harbor, Sylvan Lake, Orchard Lake, and Lake Angeles. All right. Well, so my show is on in West Bloomfield, Kegel Harbor, Orchard Lake, and Sylvan Lake. So on behalf of all of our people, <laughs> forgive me for being a little bit enthusiastic, but how about a big woohoo? We're getting the screen. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little, I've had a lot of coffee today. But this is, this is great news. Tell us about this news. I got the press release here. We got a couple of pictures, but you're the marketing manager. Just tell us directly the story. Sure. As most people know, in 2022, Oakland County passed the uh, transit millage. And I know that there was some skepticism of how this would all work. WOTA was one of the named entities. And as such, we received funding through that millage. What that allowed us to do is purchase more vehicles, hire more people. And more than that, it allowed us to expand. And this is really just the beginning for us. We know that the most vulnerable in our pocket uh, our seniors and our adults with disabilities, um, we know that they need transportation. All of our vehicles are lift equipped or ramped equipped, meaning there are no barriers to transportation for anyone who needs it in these areas. Eventually, with more assets and more drivers, we'll be able to expand into other communities in Western Oakland County. And we are very excited about that because we know based on our ridership, that this service um, creates independence. It helps them to maintain independence, and it allows people to continue to be part of society in very meaningful ways. So, Amy, this is great news. We just got put West Bloomfield high on your list, and all of our viewers would be really <laughs> would be really happy. Oh, West, we West do have a very senior, a very similar to ours. It, it is, and we do. It's in the area. You're pretty darn close already. I mm -hmm. understand you got to do it incrementally, but we, you know, listen. Our, our seniors and the people that have mobility issues. Uh, this is the greatest news because you know, just all you have to do is just wind that clock back a little bit and just think what it was like when you first got your drive driver's license and how your sure. world changed. I mean, having mobility and transportation and independence is, it's just, it's a wonderful thing and losing it is, can be a little bit disappointing. It, it absolutely is. And we find that, um, you know, our riders want to be part of their community, whether it's participating in employment or um, shopping, uh, just visiting with friends, going to lunch. If COVID taught us nothing, it's that people need people. And um, transportation for many was a barrier. Uh, but we know that transportation in this we you know, most people think of it as a small thing. They don't really think of it. But the reality is, is that it is very important because without transportation, you can't go forward, you can't move. Um, if you think about your body, what happens to your body if you stop moving? Um, it's the same concept as when you stop moving out of your home. That isolation, not being able to participate, it, it's a really big deal. So we are very proud to be doing the work that we do. Amy, good job. Thank you for telling the story so well. I only got 30 seconds. I ended up being a busy news day here. Uh, let people know where your website is. And I, I can tell you, tell folks, I called your dispatch center just to see this morning how responsive they would be. A, they got me hooked up to you in about 10 minutes. But they picked the phone up right away and they said, how can, how, how can they help you? And this service in our communities is up and running now. Tell people how to access it. Absolutely. All you have to do is go to ridewoda.org. And uh, we're, we're so proud to be a part of this uh, community. So thank you for welcoming us and getting our message out. All right. Very good. We'll be in touch. We'll talk again another day. We have some more time. We've now exchanged okay. virtual business cards. So we'll have you back <laughs> on the program. Good job. Say hello to everybody at WODA. And thank you very much for joining us on the Splash Live. Amy Grzymkowski from thank WODA you. joining us on the Splash.